Just over 100 years ago, in the heyday of what is called the heroic age of Antarctic exploration, the French polar explorer Jean-Baptiste Charcot brought his ship, the Pourquoi Pas, to study the geography and biology of the region around Peterman Island on his second Antarctic expedition. In the first decade of the 21st century, Peterman became the location of an Oceanides field research camp and a frequent dive site for the undersea specialists on board the National Geographic Explorer. The video we have shot over the past 10 years contains a good overview of the marine life living in the waters around Peterman today, and our friends at Oceanides have asked us to help them compare it to the records that Charcot made a century ago. We know that some species, like these Gentoo penguins, have increased during that time, while others have declined. Comparing what we are seeing to what Charcot saw may help scientists to better understand important trends in this rapidly changing part of the Antarctic. In the protected waters of Port Circumcision, where Charcot anchored his ship, we were excited to find a few relics of his expedition, like this iron strap, that have lain there undisturbed for over a century. Putting another element of our expedition technology to work on the same project, we have used our ROV to look into the deeper waters of the Panola Strait off the east coast of Peterman. As well as bringing back exciting images for the guests on board our ships, we've recorded many more species and found further evidence of Charcot's presence, including this wine bottle 300 feet down. Perhaps Charcot himself drank from this bottle. In any case, if he were here today, I like to think that he would toast our efforts to continue his work in advancing the science of Antarctica.